morning guys pro here at vip outdoors and going fishing except i'm not pulling a boat behind me it's not very often that i'm rolling at this hour with no boat hooked up to me so i'm actually going up to the wind river drano lake area uh yet to be decided on where we're gonna fish we're gonna kind of make the call once we get there got invited by one of my buddies uh, up in the hood river area who we're gonna go have a little fun. This is this is an interesting trip. It's, it's gonna be a fun trip. And the reason it's gonna be fun is when I first met Tom, he booked a guided trip with me on Wind River and Drano Lake. Shoot, this had to be close to 15 years ago. And since then, because of fishing, we've become we've become closer friends. And last year, he invited me up to Drano Lake to fish with them and. I'll tell you, I haven't got to drain a lake in, shoot, 12 years or so. Uh, but it was kind of fun, you know, the chaos of the toilet bowl and and everything else, uh, it was fun. <laughs> now that I don't guide there anymore, it's fun. Uh, and it's not in my boat, so it's even more fun. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to getting over there. Oh, Drano Lake traffic, man! I tell you, that's the normal morning. That's a, and this is a uh, week. We're in the middle of the week here, close to the middle of the week, I should say. And that's the amount of traffic you get out here. I think with Drano Lake, what makes it so appealing is the random reinforcement. As fishermen, I think we all have that in common. Is that random reinforcement, right? Pull that slot lever. You're eventually gonna hit big and we're all looking for that big day but when you're out here and you're fishing literally within 100 of boats within a stone's throw away you're gonna see it even if it's not your rod that goes off or your boat that goes off you're gonna see it and there's a little bit of that that just makes you feel a little bit better a little bit more confident in that your turn's next so I think that's part of the dr unspoken draw if you will of Drano Lake is grand reinforcement, man. So anyways, I'm gonna go have some fun, check it out. I'm gonna try a couple new things because you know, that's what I do. Uh, hey Tom, now I'm making the video. No pressure, there's two fish on in the corner over there. That right there is what you call the active corner here at Drano. <laughs> you get fish hooked up there. You got the boundary line, which you could get a ticket there. You got a snag there. You got the bankies throwing yeah, plugs at you. There. There's a lot going on in that corner, dude. You got all this, like, this entire loop right here to just think about the anxiety <laughs> or let anxiety build for that one corner. And it's either going to be good with the bite gonna be bad with the ticket bad with the snag there's a lot more bad that happens on that corner than good but man there <laughs> it seems like a lot of fish are hooked on that corner so that's the corner from hell he says i don't know i'm yet to catch a fish on that corner in my entire existence but i've seen it they oh tom oh tom hold on but hold on let me hold on hold on really you get it out Way to get out of the rod holder, Tom. I couldn't fucking set it on. <laughs> he just... Why did you get it out of the rod holder? I was kind of freaking motor set, but I couldn't. <laughs> You're literally getting bit. Literally getting bit. Tom pulled it out of the rod holder. Not my boat. Not my problem. That's on him. Yeah. Oh, look. This guy over here's got one, Tom. He left it in the rod holder.
Get him, get him. There you go. I'm recording. Chris, don't poach me, dude. Is that no, you're good. I'm messing with him. I got him here. Oh my goodness. Come on, slow poke, Rodriguez. Dude, I'm enjoying my fish. Get off me, Tom. I very rarely get oh, a dude. I'm talking it. to this slow poke, Rodriguez, back. Slow poke. I should have left my rod out. Oh, you did. I got him on this side. school that gets right there. Gold and red. Is that a little guy? Number three. Alright guys, so again out here at Drain Lake we just caught that fish. Um, shrimp spinners, prawn spinners. Uh, in this case it was a coon shrimp and spinner that we caught it on. But I want to show you how we rig it. So this right here is one of our pre-ties, our shrimp spinner pre-ties. Uh, has three bread beads on there, a couple Gami two out hooks, and a clevis, and you clip the blade of your choice on there. But we have all these pre tied on 30 pound clear, and here's the way I do it I take the top hook, which is the blade nearest the beads, I come down the back side, so this kind of arch of the shrimp, the natural arch, I open up the tail a little bit, then I have the hook right alongside the head, just like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of these little denture rubber bands it's for braces, I believe. You get them pretty cheap from what I understand. I'm just poaching them off Tom's boat here. Go around the head, come all the way up there. When you put the rubber band around the hook, make sure at the very least it's around the line so it doesn't slide down. You can even slide it back in between the eye of the hook and the, and the uh, egg loop leaders just to make sure she doesn't roll down the rubber band that is and put it in the water just like that. Oops. <laughs> right on guys well that wraps up our trip with tom over there on drano lake uh well it really was a good time um again you know i used to guide there and haven't guided that water in a long long time and <laughs> like i said it was fun to get back for a day or two and not in my own boat i want to go through basic setup guys that's as easy as it gets there let me go and grab something real quick for you All right, here it is right here. Basic setup for all my salmon fish in here. All right, I'm a huge fan of the Daiwa Solstice Reel right here. This is a size 20. <clears throat> we have our edge rod. This right here, you know, when I'm fishing Drano Lake and I'm fishing that softer water, I like the four power. So the 924 uh, is a really, really good rod. Probably my, my favorite rod for that fishery. We had the rod I was actually fishing in the video um, is a prototype for next year for 2024. So hopefully we get to launch that one. Um, but if not, that 924 is just a phenomenal rod. Come down, 65 pound braid. Of course, come down to one of our line locks, six speed chain swivel, one of our 18 inch free crimp bumpers, number 700 Pro Troll. You can't beat it, I don't care who says what. This is hands down the best 360 on the market, this color pattern. 
I'd say the second best one. Well, let me hear. Let me flip it over. Yep, it's a 700 again. So hands down the best one. Uh, and again, like I said on the video, super basic setup. Take one of our pre-tied leaders here. And we got a pink beads, chartreuse beads, red beads. Put that coon shrimp or prawn on there just like how I demonstrated. And hang out. Enjoy time with your buddies. Let those pro trolls whip. And wait for that rod to fold over. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. That was Drano Lake 2023 with one of my good buddies, Tom. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you get a chance. Go check out his re one of his restaurants up there in Hood River. I would suggest the Modern Taco. That one's my favorite. So thanks for watching.